Bronny James has officially declared for the 2024 NBA Draft. And while he is the son of a goat, there is a lot of speculation on if he could survive in the NBA. Would he play with his dad? Would he be an all-time great? And would he break his dad's scoring record? I highly doubt that last one. But today we're going to find out. So in case anyone does not know, Bronny James in the world of 2K is not that great. Like seriously, no, he starts off at a low overall, which is why he's projected to get selected by the Knicks in the second round. But hey, I know another Knicks second rounder that's a top player in this league. J Brunson, Jalen Brunson, in case there's any casuals watching. Bronny James is going to Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen. Joining KD, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal. I don't know if Bronny's even going to get minutes because he is a 71 overall, but that's for the Phoenix Suns to decide. So Bronny James didn't even play in his first season, his rookie season. He's, he hasn't even played an NBA minute yet. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to get comfortable because the whole point of this video is just to see how Bronny James' career goes. He could be out the league in three years and not play a single minute, but we're here to find that out. Bronny's been working. He's a 75 overall. That's the good news. Bad news is nobody wants this man. He is not on a damn NBA roster right now. So we're just going to have to keep checking the free agency tab and see if anybody picks him up. So for year two, we are in the last day of the regular season and Bronny is still a free agent. My God, that's bad. This man is going to have to work in the offseason and get that overall up because, man, his career is going to be very short lived. I mean, short lived. It hasn't even started. The man didn't even step on the floor yet. Okay, I just realized part of the problem is Bronny wants way too much money. 14 million. Dude, you haven't played a minute yet. Fucking greedy bastard. Bronny is now a 77 overall and still not on a team because he wants too much damn money. So let's head into Bronny's third season. Honestly, Bronny could still win rookie of the year. Like go full Ben Simmons and win it in like his second or third year. And ladies and gentlemen, to start off the year, it happened. Bronny James gets picked up by the Memphis Grizzlies and they overpaid the fuck out of it. Oh my God. He hasn't even played yet. Okay, well, the Memphis Grizzlies are certified lunatics, but let's just keep this going. So Bronny just had to wait around long enough, ladies and gentlemen. He is a member of the Memphis Grizzlies at the bottom of the rotation, but he will be the overpaid backup to John Morant. Well, year three, here we go. Bronny's like kind of official rookie year. Here we go. And this might be his first real NBA game right here. Six points, two rebounds, one assist. Now, hey, 11 minutes. I'll take it, Bronny. Okay, so Bronny played two games and now he's down to a 74 overall. Yeah, the injuries aren't on, mind you. And then they just took him out the rotation. I don't know what this man said or did. I don't know if he was lighting up in the locker room again but okay so the grizzlies had a bad year so did brawny but he's still under contract on to year four so here's the rotation for the grizzlies brawny's actually going to be getting 23 minutes a game fantastic let's do this memphis grizzlies made the play in 42 and 40 so brawny has a chance to make some noise brawny finishes the year averaging 14 points a game three rebounds six assists and he get out of the play in though and they almost did they won the first one but lost the second one 22 years old, 85 overall, actually 86 overall. I mean, this dude would be starting if he didn't have a top point guard in the league on his team. So, so the Grizzlies have had the bright idea to put Bronny next to John Morant in the starting lineup. I think that's a W. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we came for. Your most improved player is Bronny James, averaging 21 a game, nine assists. At the moment, it looks like he wants to stay with the Grizzlies. But listen, I don't believe a word any NBA player says, okay? But the Grizzlies finished in the four seed and they are ready to make some noise in the playoffs this year. That is what the Trailblazers are looking like at this point. Scoot Henderson has been progressing. Damn. Damn! Let's see if they can get past them in round one, one, two, three, and they finish it out in five games. Beautiful. Shout out to Bronny with a double double in the playoffs so far, up to an 87 overall. Round two, you got the Mavericks. Luca basically never leaves the Mavericks in any 2K simulation, so you know he's always going to be there. Simulating round two, let's see if the boys can do it. They lose in six, but the Mavericks are always tough, man. Bronny was hooping in the playoffs, still, you got to give him credit, and next year should be the best year yet for him. But the question remains does he stay with Memphis, though, or is he going to go find a starting spot elsewhere? Okay, explain this to me, 2K. So so when Bronny hadn't played a single minute, the Grizzlies gave him a three-year, $42 mil deal. He hasn't even proven himself yet. Now that he's proven himself, you give him a one-year, $9 million deal. There's no way. Like I've been saying forever, 2K is a bad game and just add this reason to the list. Well, Bronny's broke ass now that he's making nine mil this year. Uh, <laughs> he's in the starting five once again. The Grizzlies are ready to make another run. Let's see if they can do it, man. We got two all NBA teamers this year, ladies and gentlemen. Bronny and Ja, that big duo out in Memphis. Because Bronny's having a great season. The Grizzlies had a fantastic season, 61 wins, but that Thunder team is going to be tough to beat, man. We have a rematch against the Mavericks this year, and honestly, I think we should just take care of them, hopefully. Right? Right? Right, 2K? Right? Okay, we do. Now we've made round two against the six-seeded Spurs. 
Spurs. Let's see what they're looking like. Still got Wemby, obviously. Trey Young has joined the Spurs as well. That's random. That's actually a solid team. I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose, and we do. We lose by three in game seven. Okay, well, we can't get past the second round. We're the West Sixers, apparently. So since Bronny signed that really weird deal, let's see if he stays with Memphis. I would imagine he does. Bro, what is with these whack-ass contracts, dude? The man just made an All-NBA third team, and you're still giving him these deals? Oh my god. All-NBA third team once again for Bronny, ladies and gentlemen, 23 points a game. The Grizzlies finished with the three seed this year, and they have a rematch against the Spurs. Still led by Wemby and Trey Young. Let's see if we can take these boys down this year. Just going to simulate the round, and hopefully we take care of business, and we do in five games. Beautiful. Now we have the seven-seeded Rockets. Yeah, the seven-seeded Rockets who took care of business in six games. Can we finally make the damn conference finals? But we, we just blew a 3-1 lead. I literally said we can't get past the second round, dude, and it's just not happening. Why are the Wizards the NBA? Shit, what the hell? Bronny is gone, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, Bronny is gone. And Bronny wanted a piece of Mardi Gras, ladies and gentlemen. Joining the New Orleans Pelicans on a max deal. Finally, my man gets his bag, dude. I do not see Zion. I don't know where Zion went. The bench is kind of mid. The starting lineup's kind of high. But maybe Bronny can lead this team. Same with Brandon Ingram. Let's see if the boys can do it, man. All NBA first team. Third in the running for MVP, Bronny James with 27 and almost 10 assists a game. Pelicans finished 49 and 33. Got the Rockets up first. Let's just get the Rockets over with, right? We should beat the Rockets. We should, hello, beat the Rockets. And we do. Bronny with a great first round, 29 and 10. Eight-seeded Portland Trailblazers are up next okay can Bronny finally make a damn conference finals play? oh my suck. god i thought i was safe with the eight seed but i guess not and in year seven we ran it back and Bronny did even better than his last pelicans are the sixth seed and brawny has got his old team in his way ladies and gentlemen looking to get revenge for these cheap bastards that would not pay him i swear if he loses to them right now oh my god Bronny, don't do it he sweeps them thank you Bronny, for taking care of business got the seven seeded warriors up next obviously curry would be like 50 years old if he was still on the team and wemby wemby's on the team and zion found zion that is literally the greatest front court i probably have ever seen in 2k to be honest just simulating the round please get out the second he made it to the conference finals brawny made a conference finals only took over an hour oh my god brawny is lighting everybody up and he is in the conference finals against the one-seeded minnesota timberwolves ladies and gentlemen anthony edwards is still here you got to give him credit we're gonna go game by game because the conference finals game one's the timberwolves game two is the pelicans game three timberwolves game four to pelicans pivotal game five is the timberwolves here we go simcast let's go oh a minute to go we have a one possession game okay here we go brawny all right pelicans are at the line ladies and gentlemen there's not too many real people left honestly in the league uh <laughs> And he misses the first one. That's fantastic. Dude, just make the second one, please. Don't you dare say you just sold. You, you absolutely just sold. Big time stop coming. Here we go. Brawny is guarding Hammonds. I don't know who Hammonds is, but Brawny's guarding him. We need the clamps right now. Anthony Edwards is going to try and ice it, dude. Absolutely. Hammonds with the ball. Brawny is on him. He gets screened. And Brawny, great pick up there. Oh, that's a tough shot. That's a miss. That is not going in. Let's go. Brandon Ingram is on the drive. Oh, you got somebody open. You got Williams open. No way. Let's go. The Pelicans have tied the game. 15 seconds to go. The Pelicans have a timeout, so there is a world where they get a stop, take a timeout, and take a game winner. But I feel like Ant's going to go for the final shot here. If not, we are going to overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 seconds to go. Ant dribbling the clock down. It's basically going to be an ISO. It looks like the floor has cleared out completely, and Ant is on the drive. Oh, that's a, the good defense. Ant misses. There we go. Oh, my God. He, he took it too late. I got so scared. 35 seconds to go. Pelicans need a basket. If not, I'm I'm just, I'm not. They're not going to win. I don't know what else to say. Okay, well, they don't force a shot brawny's taking a tough three and brawny is him all right and it's gonna dribble out as much clock as he can pelicans need that stop brawny is putting this team on his back right now come on and you know Ant's gonna get the screen and it's gonna drive dude three seconds oh if that goes in i'm gonna cry dude yeah he missed he missed timeout pelicans ladies and gentlemen there's still a chance one shot to either tie or or get a three and win i can't even speak brandon ingram over patrick williams dude he had the bit that's not even going dude you can't oh oh my god no way Hey, Williams once again, ladies and gentlemen, dude, with the defender in his grill, man, with the fade, and we are going to go to double overtime, most likely. This game is absolutely ridiculous, and this is all just to go to game seven if we win, bro, and Ant's just going to catch it. It ain't going to count. I mean, if you go... It didn't count, but... How in the hell did it? It didn't count, right? I'm just going to double check that it. Yeah, it obviously didn't count. Okay. 
Back in SimCast for double overtime. Pelicans deserve this win, dude. They gotta just take care of business right now. 157 to 152, and they're about to grab a win. Let's go. 29 and 13 for Bronny. Brandon Ingram with 33. It is very fitting that this game comes down to the end because this whole series has just been insane. 41 seconds. 135 to 133. Oh my, 137, 135. Ah, okay, who won? Okay, the Pelicans won. I actually thought the Timberwolves hit a game winner or something, but okay. Bronny is your Western Carpets Finals MVP. He is going up against Scott. Scotty Barnes and the Toronto Raptors. Kyrie is a Toronto Raptor, by the way. I wasn't expecting to see that. Here we go. Game one is the Pelicans. Game two, Raptors. Game three, Pelicans. Game four, Pelicans. Can they finish it out in five? Okay, no. They're going to have to finish it out at home. And Bronny James is going to get his first career NBA championship, ladies and gentlemen. And Bronny's going to hoist the trophy, man. Honestly, after his first few years, I didn't think his career was going to be too promising, but he proved me wrong. Bronny's still doing Bronny things, ready to run it back as a defending champion, ladies and gentlemen. Pelicans are the four seed this year. Five seeded Warriors are up first. We'll got that W front court over there. Can they get out the first round? Please tell me they do. And they did not. Okay. Defending champions losing seven to the, the five seed. Awesome. So Bronny is in a contract year, so there's something for us to keep our eyes on. I would hope he would just re-up with the Pelicans, considering he won a championship here, but we'll find out. Never mind, I should have had faith in the Pelicans front office. They they gave him a new deal through 2038, so we're good. Bronny's still Bronny, man. I'm still waiting on that Bronny James MVP season, though. It's Wemby keeps taking it from him. Pelicans are the three seed, got the six seeded Clippers up first. That's what they're looking like, so I think we should take care of them. Round one, simming it, and wow, I was completely wrong, and we actually almost reverse swept them, but they won in game seven. I hate this game, man. Like, I really do. <laughs> Bronny is Bronny. What else is new? This year, we got the Nuggets off first. And the Nuggets, well, don't have Jokic. I don't even know if he's still in the league at this point. Simulating the first round. Can the Bronny James and the Pelicans get out the first round? And the, the, nope. Okay, guess not. I'm just speed running these at this point, y'all. I've been simming for literally two hours. Like, y can you blame me? Yep, Brandon Ingram got his jersey number retired, rightfully so. Damn, he was with the team a long time. So at age 31, Bronny is still consistently doing his thing, but how long will that last? I mean, if it's genetic, we will be in good hands, that's for sure. Oh, the Pelicans are a playing team this year. Okay, well, let's just simulate the play-in and they don't even make it out. Okay, awesome. So Bronny is 32 years old. His numbers slipped a little this year. He's still hooping, don't get me wrong, but I think we're getting to that point now where Bronny's gonna start to make that slow decline and it's gonna be tough going forward. The Pelicans are a playing team once again, so let's just simulate the play in and get it over with and yep. The Oh, apparently Bronny signed another deal with the Pelicans, so he's staying in New Orleans for a while, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Bronny at age 33, he's back in on All-NBA First Team, ladies and gentlemen. He's still here, he's still got it, nothing to worry about. And he helped lead this Pelicans team full of people I, other than Benedict Matherin, I have no idea who anybody is. Well, Dyson Daniels too, but... He led them to the two seed, and here we go. Can Bronny make a run this year? He's got the Rockets. I'm not even going to check who the Rockets have at this point because it's probably just a bunch of nobodies, like auto-generated guys. Simulating the round as well. Please tell me the Pelicans get... Nah, damn it. Okay. Bronny's 14th professional season, and here are his statistics, ladies and gentlemen. His Pelicans drop back down to the play-in, though, for this season. So let's see. Bronny and EA wins the play-in. I can't believe they actually won the play-in. Can we upset the two seed? No. No. <laughs> Why? I didn't even think that was going to happen. Why? And ladies and gentlemen, at age 35, 36, one or the other, I don't know, he finally wins an MVP. I was not expecting it to happen at this point in his career, but Bronny added to the resume, my guy. And the Pelicans won 50. 56 games, mind you. I don't know how they made such a jump in the last few years. They got the eight seeded Clippers up first, simulating the first round. Get through the first round, please. And they do win five games. Beautiful. They got the Spurs up next. Take care of them as well. And they do. Bronny is in the conference finals. Conference finals, two seeded Rockets. Do they get now? Okay. 35. Hey, 35 year old MVP is crazy, though. I mean, Bronny's still putting the numbers up, dude. He's still got some good years left in him. All right. Bronny just had the worst season he's had in a very long time. As you can see, it affected the Pelicans as well. They're 33 and 49. It is 2042 and Bronny is on the last year of his deal. So he, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if he's going to stay with the Pelicans or call it quits. I mean, the man's 36. I don't think he's going to call it quits, but we'll see. And they did. It is on a one year basis at this point because Bronny's getting older. He's an 86. He's regressing. I, I don't see too much out of him going forward.
Well, the Pelicans are the three seed, ladies and gentlemen. They still have a chance to make some noise. Round one is going to be a Thunder win in five games. Of course it is. And ladies and gentlemen, after 17 years, Bronny James has retired from the NBA. I'm a little disappointed. I low-key thought he would go a little bit longer. He's only 37. I thought he'd try to go around age 40, but you know, it is what it is. So now the moment you have all been waiting for, Bronny James's award history, career accolades. Let's review. He only won one NBA championship that's kind of disappointing. He finally won an MVP a couple years back at the age of 35. He also won a finals MVP, 12-time All-Star, first team All-NBA, eight times, three times second team All-NBA. He also won a most improved player at one point. I don't know why they didn't include that on here, but y'all remember that part of the video. So the only statistic I care about is where Bronny James ended up all-time scoring-wise. Hey, he ended up at 23, so I mean, 23, that was Bron's number, so I mean, it's kind of fitting. He had 9,798, a career assist so top 20 is pretty damn good and obviously ladies and gentlemen we have to go see if Bronny made the hall of fame and of course he did he made an all defensive second team four times i forgot to mention that all nba third team three times didn't see that played in 1315 career games and now i would hope New Orleans retires his number. Yeah, of course they do. Okay. There would have been some beef if they didn't. The man won them a damn championship. This video took a very long time to film. So guys, do me a favor. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are going to be posting daily going forward. But other than that, guys, it's been Teebs. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. See y'all then.